Hello there, my name's Mrs. Dewardoth and I'm taking your lesson today. Last lesson, Mrs. Darney gave you a practice activity and she asked you to collect various items that you had in your house that come in groups of two. What did you find? Wow. I found lots of 2p coins in my house. Here, there are two five times. Two five times is equal to, that's right, 10. Did you have a go at writing out your two times table both ways like Mrs. Darney asked you? Have you got it there? Fantastic. We're going to practice saying it together and we're going to say it using our stem sentence at the top and we're going to say the one on the left hand side first. Are you ready? You might need to help me out if I leave out some of the products. So, zero, two is zero. One, two is two. Two, twos are four. Three, twos are six. Four, twos are eight. Five, twos are... Six, twos are twelve. Seven, twos are fourteen. Eight twos are sixteen, nine twos are ten twos are twenty, eleven twos are and twelve twos are twenty-four. Wow, that was fantastic. We're going to say it on the right hand side now and it's new to us, isn't it? So we'll go a little bit slower to help us get it right. Two zero times is zero. Two one time is two. Two two times is four. Two three times is six. Two four times is eight. Two five times is... Two six times is twelve. Two seven times is fourteen. Two eight times is sixteen. Two nine times is eighteen. Two ten times is twenty. Two eleven times is twenty-two. Two twelve times is twenty-four. Oh, you did that so well that time. Well done. I'm going to challenge you now. I wonder if I highlight some of the equations. Do you think you could say them using our stem sentences? I bet you can. Are you ready? You're right. Six twos are twelve. Should we see if there's another one? That's right. Two eleven times is twenty two. Two six times is twelve. Two two times is four. Twelve twos are twenty four. OK, we're going to practice saying pairs of equations now using our stem sentences. Are you ready? Your turn first. Yes. Six twos are twelve. Two six times is twelve. Three twos are six. Two three times is six. And our last one... 11 twos are 22, 2 11 times is 22. Wow, you really know your two times table facts. Well done. Can you have a look at this picture now and tell me what you can see? Did you see four nests with two eggs in them? Yeah, there are two eggs in each group, aren't they? Four groups of two eggs. There are four groups of two. What's the product? That's right. Four times two is equal to eight. Four twos are eight. How else could I write the equation for this picture? Did you do this? Two four times is equal to eight. There are two four times. Two four times is eight. 
So I want you to tell me now, in this equation, what does the 4 represent? That's right, it's the four groups. What does the 8 represent? That's right, the 8 represents how many eggs there are all together. So what does the 2 represent? Yes, the 2 represents the two eggs in each group. What about in this equation? What does the 2 represent? Yes, it still represents the two eggs in each nest, the two eggs in each group. And what does the four represent? Yep, the four groups. And what does the eight represent? That's right, the number of eggs all together. Can you really focus on these equations now? And can you tell me what is the same about them? Did you say that the product was the same? That's right, They're the product of both equations is eight. They also have the same factors, but the thing that's different about them, what's different about these equations? That's right, the factors are in a different order, but they're the same factors, so the product is the same. What can you see in this picture? Yes, this time there are five groups of two. What are five groups of two? Yeah, five twos are ten. In this picture then, what does the five represent? Yes, the five is the five groups. And what does the two represent? Yes, the two shoes in each group. And what does the ten represent? Yes, the 10 represents how many shoes we have all together. Can I write that another way? That's right, there are two five times. Two five times is 10. Did you write it like that? So what does the two represent now? That's right, it still represents the two shoes in each group. And what does the five represent? Yes, the five represents the number of groups. And the ten? How many shoes we have all together. Is this equation correct down here? Does this equation represent what we see in this picture? Did you say it was wrong? That's correct. Two times 10 is 20. Two tens are 20. That's right, yeah, that is an incorrect equation. Well done you. You're getting really good at this now. Can you see how many 2p coins there are in this picture? Did you notice that this looks like a tens frame? That's right, so we've got 10 and two. There are 12 groups of two. 12 twos are, yeah, 24. And did you write the equation? 12 times two is 24. How else could I write the equation that goes with this picture? Yes, two times 12 is 24. There are two 12 times. Two 12 times is 24. What about this equation here? Does this equation represent the picture? Is it correct? You're right. It's using the same numbers as the other equations, but it is incorrect. 2 is not equal to 12 times 24. Well done if you got that right. I'd like you to have a go at some missing number equations now. If you like, you can write them out and use the stem sentence to help you. You can pause the video now. Did you have a go at them? Should we go through them together and use our stem sentence to help us? What's the first one? There are four groups of two. Four twos are eight. There are two four times. Two four times is eight. 
The next one, there are six groups of two. Six twos are 12. There are two six times. Two six times is 12. There are seven groups of two. Seven twos are 14. There are two seven times. That's right. Two seven times is 14. Oh, this one looks a bit tricky at the bottom. Do you notice what's happened? That's right, the product is first. So this time we need to say it slightly differently. 16 is equal to 8 times 2. 16 is equal to 2 times 8. You are getting so good at your 2 times tables. So our lesson is nearly finished for today. And you've done so well learning at saying your two times tables both ways. What I want you to do is take your times tables that you've written out and I would like you to practice covering up some of the numbers like we just did in that activity. You can get an adult to help you if you like. Can you say the missing numbers? You can cover up as many as you like. And I want you to practice saying it using our STEM sentences. Good luck and look forward to seeing what you've done next lesson.